The internet is a competitor for our advertisements in the case of some printed papers, no less so for local weeklies, perhaps. But there is wrong for, for both of us. Both the press and the internet can claim many advantages. Recent research at Brand Science found that for every pound spent on newspaper ads, retailers get a sales increase of six pounds twenty three compared with two pounds twenty three and three pounds fifty seven in other media. Traditional media are more lucrative for a town's retail advertisers than online. There's plenty of scope for competition. And as the UK recovers from the downturn, there'll be room for both of us. We ourselves have bought or launched 12 weekly titles since the start of the downturn. And we have not lost one. The doom mongers are just wrong. If we have a problem, it's with local authorities launching local newspapers, which carry their public notices, which have to appear in a newspaper, but which in their own papers are not subject to scrutiny and criticism. These propaganda sheets are a real menace to local democracy as well as to a part of our revenue which helps to keep local newspapers independent. So three predictions to end. The entire local weekly press will live, not die. It will expand, not contract. It will flourish, not wither. And local weeklies will continue their 200 years of being among the country's most trusted and effective media. The United Kingdom has the finest press in the world, and we have the best journalists.